and commence the pain. I've been hanging on for dear life. Make sure I charge my Garmin, make sure I've charged my lights Make sure we get those bars in 10 miles and I'll be more than starving Nothing compares to the thrill, underprepared for the hills I used to get wheels on air, now I put air in my wheels Change that tune, train and cruise, chain's been lewd Pace and move, Strava stats give man a heart attack But then my pace improves, bars and cadence are strong Now my legs up, my cadence are long It's about time we do this, it's the cycling tattooist What is up guys? If you're new here, my name's Thomas Martinez and welcome to the channel. And if you're regular, then welcome back. It is uh, bloody early, a bit too early for my liking, but it's gonna be worth it. Today is definitely gonna be a fun one. Well, I guess it depends what you think of as fun really. But anyways, today is uh, something I've been looking forward to since, uh, well, since I knew I was coming here really. When I told everyone that I was coming here I had nothing but people suggesting that I needed to do this that I'm doing today <laughs> and that is of course Melbourne's Hell Ride. <laughs> so yeah as I said I had nothing but requests for me to uh, get involved with this I think after a lot of views I've uh, obviously seen some of my recent videos being aimed at, well, basically crashing myself, riding as fast as I possibly can. But I guess some of you figured I'd probably want to get involved with what's known as the fastest group ride in Melbourne. And with a name like Hell Ride, <laughs> well, you know that it's gonna hurt, didn't you? <laughs> it's definitely not gonna be easy. Now the route actually runs uh, down a very famous stretch of road well, within the cycling community anyway, which is uh, Beach Road. And uh, yeah, if you own a bike and you live around here, you'll definitely know what Beach Road is. Every man and their dog gets out on their bike down there at the weekend. It's nice and early, so shouldn't be too busy along there. I'm looking forward to it, that's for sure. Anyways, let's get ourselves there and commence the pain. Ah! k in apparently that's the halfway mark i've been hanging on for dear life definitely say this ride so far is uh, living up to its name of the hell ride it ain't easy but it's all good fun this is the first uh, time since i've been here that i pushed on the pedals properly so it's uh, nice to get involved oh, oh the pace is up and again so i better get <laughs> i better put this camera down and get stuck in
I've been here that I've been able to push on the pedals properly yeah, like yeah, yeah you can't beat that feeling can you nah. especially a nice early morning ride like this like. now the mornings have got wider you don't, you don't need lights anymore nice it nice man dreamy. you can't beat it the old Melbourne cycling lifestyle <laughs> so it's all about it's a great road these roads oh yeah man I imagine like someone like yourself like obviously where you're a local you can probably just turn up here right and like bump into someone you know or oh. Totally, yeah. like, you probably see us on morning waving at guys we know. Yeah. Like, everyone just kind of crosses paths. Yeah, that's it, man. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a cool scene. It's uh, it's amazing to see. We like, just have so many people involved in cycling. I know, mate, yeah. We're going to turn, we're going to go right for some food. Yeah. Do you want to come with us? Yeah, man. Yeah. You don't need to tell me food twice, mate. My legs are cooked. <laughs> but having said that, yeah, you really can't beat it. I did have a lot of fun. What a good group of guys as well. Really nice bunch. Well, as you find uh, Australians in general, to be fair, always really friendly. Had a cheeky little uh, coffee stop and a bit of cake, of course. What more do you want? <laughs> but yeah, thanks very much to uh, all the guys, uh, especially Chris there. Um, yeah, proper top bloke. Thanks for inviting me along. I also had a, uh, a few compliments from some of the guys saying that I put in some good work, so that's always nice to hear. Makes you feel good about yourself. And yeah, it was certainly good to uh, push on the pedals. Well, I don't usually leave it that long between uh, spicy rides, and I definitely felt it. So <laughs> average pace today was just over 40k an hour, or uh, 25 mile an hour in real money. And uh, yeah, apparently that's uh, on the tame side for that ride. So yeah, I can imagine it can get pretty lethal. That was about enough for me today, I think. That was just right. You might have noticed uh, there was no heart rate data. That's because I done a schoolboy error and forgot me a uh, heart rate monitor, didn't I? Sometimes that's a bit of a blessing in disguise because <laughs> I know I was definitely maxing my heart rate at at least a few occasions, so <laughs> sometimes it's best not to know that. And at least I won't have uh, all of you cardiologists out there uh, commenting, worrying me, making me think I could have a heart attack or whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I uh, definitely can't recommend the Hell Ride enough. If you like something a bit spicy, then come get involved. If you're over here on holiday like I am, they're uh, more than accommodating, like I said, really friendly bunch of guys. So come get involved, you won't regret it. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.